research the other evidence. But you are the ones that are responsible for making the decision about what you believe. And so you have to evaluate all the evidence and come up with a conclusion and then act as a responsible citizen based on that conclusion. And as if most of you in here have concluded by the show of hands, uh, you have some work to do. Uh, also, it's too horrible. I don't even want to think about it. They kind of the, uh, we go right into denial, right? Watch yourself do this. It's an automatic part. We're not wired to accept this kind of reality because the implications are absolutely staggering, and I fully recognize that. So we go into paralysis, and we don't do anything. Or we avoid the debate, we go back to sleep. We become part of the problem. Uh, what is the problem? The problem is so many Americans are sleeping, and I'll, I'll show you one reason why I believe that's the case right now, and then I promise you I will stop. We have to get motivated into action by getting informed, which you're doing now. You can pick up a DVD in the back, that'll help. There's an internet which will assist you. Uh, we have to work through our fears, our disbeliefs, and our own mindsets that says this is impossible. But you just saw the scientific evidence, and most of you, most all of you, agree that you, you agree with the evidence. So now you have to take the next step, right? The next step is to uh, let that evidence motivate you. Some of you are going to get really pissed off, and that's good. Some of you are, are just going to start talking to people, and that's good. And when you talk to people, they're going to get pissed off at you. And that's good, too, because it starts debate, it starts energy. And, and some people will say, oh, yeah, I knew that. And you go, oh, my God, some of you already knew that. Why didn't you tell me? You know, it's, it, we need to support a new investigation. And one way to do that, and I think an extremely important way, is to get the eight million on truth link to everybody you know. In fact, you don't have to look like a fool or a conspiracy theorist. All you have to do is, is say, hey, check this out. This evidence card, for instance, which has most of this evidence uh, that we've been through on the back of it. Buy a couple of hundred of them. They're very cheap. Give them out to people and say, I don't know about this. this is, there's this group of 200 architects demanding a real investigation based on what it appears like, some real evidence. Uh, what do you think about it? You can have a discussion that way without putting your neck on the line like I am. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you. My head is still on my shoulder, so I'll keep speaking. Uh, it's, it's not just the buildings, though. Wherever you go, the official story of 9-11 uh, you find holes big enough to drive Arnold's, Arnold Schwarzenegger's uh, Hummer through. It, it's incredible, whether it's the airline flights where, where, where no hijack codes were transmitted, NORAD, which stood down for an hour and a half, the hijackers, many of which appear to be still alive, have been interviewed on uh, BBC. We do all this research, and these are all sourced back to mainstream uh, sources. Uh, the FBI obstruction of justice and the 2,000 whistleblowers, including Savelle Evans, who's coming out big time now, stock market put options where millions are made on these faded airliners. Osama bin Laden, where one, there's two of them apparently. One confesses, the other says, I didn't do it. And they look very different, so Osama's. So uh, Google fatty Osama. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find out some very interesting information. The 9-11 Commission Report, uh, who had on its, its uh, staff, uh, Executive Director Philip Zellenhoff, who created a PhD in cr the creation of a public myth. I'm not kidding you. Uh, terrorist, he was in control of who got interviewed, uh, what the conditions were for their interview, and what the, commission, what the report was written. The other commissioners had very, very little control. Even so, many of them had these conflicts of interest uh, uh, in oil companies, etc. Uh, terrorist funding, $100,000 that was wired to Mohammed Atta from the Pakistani government. Never followed up. Afghanistan, a profit center today for heroin production, after the Taliban had virtually choked it down at 6,700 metric tons by official accounts uh, when, they, when the Taliban had choked it down to 178 uh, metric tons. The defense oil debt and insurance and media <coughs> industries profits soared as a result of 9-11. And the mainstream media was blocking the truth. You left out the anthrax. Am what? You left out the anthrax. Anthrax? Oh my God! Uh, we'll let somebody else tell you about the anthrax attacks on the uh, on the two uh, key uh, Democratic uh, representatives who were not uh, going. Who, who, who are being who are being intimidated basically? The anthrax, by the way, was found to be from Fort Detrick. 
Uh, and it was a very special strain, the, the Amy strain of, of, the, of anthrax. So uh, that investigation stopped right in its tracks. The CIA owns everyone of any significance in the major media. That's a heck of a statement from the former CIA director, William Colby, who died in very mysterious conditions in a lake shortly after making that statement. <laughs> um, Operation Mockingbird, though, is well documented, and uh, individuals such as Frank Weiser, Alan Bellis, Richard Evans were involved, and it included the buying of influence in the media by putting uh, uh, people on the table, uh, re reporters, etc. Uh, this is all documented, uh, and uh, other stories uh, where you can get the truth uh, from the 25 most centric stories uh, in every year. Uh, Project Centered incredible source of great information. Why did we not see the truth about 9-11? Well, it appears as if our government lied to us about the building collapses. The 9-11 Commission reinforced the lie. FEMA and NIST justified the lie. And the corporate media repeated and hammered in the lie. It looks like we really didn't stand much of a chance. I believe I've proven to you that explosives were used to destroy each of these three World Trade Center high rises on 9-11. Now, as we already know, it takes months of advanced planning and engineering to place these explosives. And certainly, how they did not have access to these highly secure buildings occupied by these, all these three-letter agencies. So unfortunately, this is just the beginning of a disturbing but extremely essential uh, journey for us all back into the nightmare of 9-11. The evidence you've seen is just a small fraction I could stay here all night if you would stay with me. <clears throat> uh, the, uh, of the evidence uh, that is available uh, and put together by the 9-11 Truth Movement. Uh, I have not had time. There are some great books and DVDs, though, including uh, some excellent uh, information, some free DVDs uh, that are available online. And um, what, what, what we see, we have a responsibility with our freedom as citizens. And, not since uh, Pearl Harbor have we had such a catastrophic, I'll call it shock and awe, right? Um, uh, this motivated all of us to go to war. These horrible acts and the events leading up to them deserve and demand an independent, unimpeachable investigation. So we ask you all to join us. You don't have to be an architect or an engineer to join AD Night on Truth. We have 500 others in addition to the 200 architects and engineers. But you, you do have to follow up. All of this information, 99% uh, of it anyway, is on our DVD, which is available for you. You need to buy a few copies of this and loan them out. Keep them in circulation. Don't let them sit on your coffee tables. This is critical information at a critical time in our nation's history. It's absolutely important for you to become a truth bearer. Email, again, our link to everybody you know and every engineer and architect you can find in the phone book. We need a thousand architects and engineers signing on to our website where all their names are displayed and so we can build this incredible uh, credibility that we, I believe we already have it at 200. I mean, that's pretty extraordinary, but we want to get to a thousand by October, by September 11, 2008. There's also plenty of other great DVDs, Jim Hoffman, 9-11 Mysteries, which you've seen many clips of. Uh, David Ray Griffin's written some incredible books and there's tapes also. And loose change, the guys have done a great job. In fact, Final Cut is out. Look for it uh, on YouTube. Better yet, buy it from them and support them financially. <clears throat> There's some great websites. Uh, Strip, uh, the Scholars for Truth and Justice, stj911.org. Pilots for 9-11 Truth. If, you, if your pilots are NOAA pilot, give them that information. The Truth Movement is uh, small but growing, and we have an incredible fight ahead of us uh, because they have all of the resources, right? The money, the power, but we have the truth. And the truth can carry through you. It will speak to others. It's an unbelievable power that each one of us times a million, because there are millions of, and every year millions more in the 9-11 Truth Movement. And I would like to welcome you to the 9-11 Truth Movement and speak out, because the time comes when your silence is betrayal, and that time is now. Thank you very, very, very much.